So Hi. welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Lauren. I'm Christine. And we are Pretty Spirit. So today, <laughs> Christine is gonna share with us a haul because someone went on their honeymoon and lost it <laughs> in some metaphysical stores. <laughs> I did, I did. We went to Sedona and it's one of my favorite places to relax. If you're not familiar, Sedona is in Arizona and it's a healing town. So a lot of yogis, mm -hmm. healers, psychics, anyone into metaphysical, it is like your Mecca. It's like potent energy. I love it there. The energy is so thick. Lauren's been there with her mm -hmm. husband, had a great time. So us circling back to just bring in our union in such a healing place <laughs> was amazing to me and I'm already an avid deck collector for anyone who knows me. So yes, Ooh, that's I another went, video. <laughs> I went a little crazy. I got in total 16 decks, mm -hmm. but to be fair, two of them were not for me. Uh -huh. They were gifts. Uh-huh. Okay, Lauren, <laughs> uh -huh. she's getting one. So yes, the ratio was still tilted. <laughs> But at least I could be honest about my beautiful problem. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get on and show you guys some of the new decks to my collection. And I really spend time in stores. I don't just pick decks for the sake of it. Yeah. There's always some rationale behind it. So we went to about seven or eight different stores because in Sedona, there's just so many. Yeah. There's so many. It's not hard to go to that many. It sounds crazy if you're living in a town that doesn't have too many of them around, but Sedona, they're like beside each other. So it was easy to kind of hit that number. And then I also got some crystals because mm. I wanted to redo my crystal collection. Um, Lauren collects them too. Which ones do you have? Yeah, like, I have rose quartz, which yeah. I'm actually about to let go because she's old. Okay. But I have a very, very lovely amethyst that I sit on top of my head whenever I have headaches. Mm -hmm. Um, I have Labradorite, I have some a little tiny pyrite, mm -hmm. I have a lot. You have carn scattered. I like your car carnelian Oh, I have piece. a big carnelian yeah. heart that I love to carry around me, especially when I know I need grounding. Especially when there's a lot going on in our business, which yeah. is very often lately. <laughs> I will just carry <laughs> that thing stuff. around with me. I won't even tell anybody. It'll just be in my pocket or yeah. my purse that day, and it just helps me just... Ooh, stay focused. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. So let's start off with the melanated tarot. So some of these are still wrapped because <laughs> I couldn't get to all of them. You just in terms of my excitement, I was like, I need a break as I really go through and take in the deck. But some of them are out of the wrapper because I wanted to get a good feel for them. So the melanated tarot, I think, is just completely glorious. Like, get into that sun. Get into that baby. Get into the brown baby. The brown baby. <laughs> I love it. So I picked this because. We're melanated yeah. <laughs> and I need more yeah. black decks in my collection. I need to be able to see myself represented. So as you guys know, we create our own tarot decks, mm -hmm. our own Oracle decks, but I am here for the support of all decks that excite yeah. me. So just taking in some of these images, they did an excellent job. The author did an excellent job. If we could get some zoomage, it's looking at you, Lauren. Oh. Let me rock your face. There we go. <laughs> Magician card. And the full. So I really, really like this deck for all of the colors. And it's not going to get a zoom every time. But check them out. The back of the deck, how it looks. Why is it not zooming? It's looking. <laughs> I have to cover your head. Your head is making it just like. like do this. Oh, yeah. Let me just be like a makeup person and make it. There we go. Block hey. up my face. <laughs> That's the back. We're learning as we go here, y'all. We're learning as we go. The next one I got is the African Tarot. And I got this. <laughs> <laughs> I got this because I'd never seen it before and it's interesting to buy a deck that has the tower card as it's like box yeah <laughs> right that is interesting but I've been working with tarot so long you guys that the tower card don't scare me no more mm -mm. okay it just is what it is let it all crumble exactly <laughs> the images are super like popping and colorful and I like how they separated the suits by the different colors so you see the vibrant green and then the yellows and then the blues. It's just super pretty. I'm not gonna spend too much time going through each one. I'm just showing you guys kind of what I got. So if you're interested in like the preview, you can go and do your digging further. Mm -hmm. then, I, then I got this one. It's like a learning deck, the Practical Tarot Wisdom deck. And what I liked about this is that each card, like look how little they are, Lauren. They're so small. Like take like half the deck so I can like show them while you're looking. And then it has half of the deck, I mean half of the card rather, is the picture. And then the other part is 
the words mm. so you're able to learn as you go and i think that's just too cool that's clever yeah it's so smart they're so cute like yeah i have baby hands y'all she does like for I, a, <laughs> I think my wedding band was what was it like a size like four, four and something? a quarter or something like that oh, lord yeah it's it's really me streets. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you going in. I'm like, where's the other positive bit? <laughs> oh, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, it'll be down in her bra. Mm -hmm. Then I'll be missing half a deck, y'all. The Dang. next one. <laughs> I got the cutest deck ever. <laughs> oh my god. This is my favorite. It is called the Gummy Bear Tarot. Like, get into that. Like, it's too cute. <laughs> It has the cutest, because I know I've seen these already. Lauren, look at them. Oh my gosh, she sent a video of this one. It was so cute. Me and my husband just <laughs> laughed and laughed and laughed. Look at this tiny little king of pentacles. Look at oh, him. He's so face. cute. <laughs> <laughs> and I love this stuff because throat. a lot of times when you're reading or you're asking questions for yourself, it can get pretty heavy. The things that you're talking about so it's really nice to have decks that are a bit lighter and that make you feel, oh, <laughs> little baby force. I love it. Look at that. Oh, oh my god. I need to see the tower in here. It just make you feel here. good. I, I know. It is, but like, oh, <laughs> nine of swords. These are some of the more like playful. Yeah. I know that's so cool. Oh. <laughs> Well, they're, they're heavier, but they're supposed to be playful. Like, right. Playful on the heavier aspects. So the next one I got that I haven't opened yet um, Ooh, with one. this one, but I've opened in the store. So actually to save some time, I'm just gonna show you the box because my nails are non-existent. Oh. <laughs> so the Sacred Destiny Oracle. And I like this one because the images are so grounding. Mm. And I like to pull for myself in the mornings, so I like decks that make me feel at peace. I love the box, it's nice, it's nature. Being in Sedona, you can see the star sky, so I thought it was very oh, fitting to lovely. be, yeah, to be like in this space of nature. Boop, boop. Check out the book. Fresh. Pop it all, popping text. Oh, yes. <laughs> Ain't nothing like popping the band off of a new. I know. <laughs> no, it's not. And of course, it would open with abundance being oh, yeah. that card that's first. I know you can't see the writing at the bottom, but it has the writing at the bottom. There we go. Abundance. And it has like nature images. Oh, I like this book too. I love how beautiful it is, you guys. They did a good job with the art in this one. Mm -hmm. So that's Sacred Destiny Oracle. Then, and then, <laughs> I got the Angel Guide Oracle. The reason I loved this when I saw it in the store, it's still in the plastic, but in the store, because it had many more black faces Ooh, in it. Wait, and typically, Oracle decks like that aren't always as generous with their diversity. Mm -hmm. So I loved the artwork. Sure and Ooh. the fact that it was a Hay House deck and they actually <laughs> included people of color. <laughs> Finally, guys. So, me, I oh, pop my band. <laughs> You're talking. My bad. <laughs> so look, right on front. <laughs> hey, oh, he's kind of fine, hello. <laughs> Angelic protection. Isn't he pretty? Mm -hmm. Ooh, let me see. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. into it. This deck is just very dreamy, you mm. see? Like, look at this. It's so dreamy. It's so pretty. We love cohesive art in the deck, too. Yeah, the, yeah, the deck art is very cohesive. So this one is, like, very dreamy, very intense with the artwork. Look at the back. Like, the back is bomb, but this orange, mm. they did a great job. Yeah, they did a great job. Oh, what card was that? Ooh, hello. Message. Cut the cords. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who that for? Hello. Attachment. Cut the cords. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have mystical. Wait. Yeah, mystical <laughs> wisdom. It's so pretty. Fresh, fresh, fresh. So and I like this one too. One? This one just excited me because of the colors and the women. Like, Ooh. I love me some powerful looking, 
You know when you know you're not supposed to try to do something and you still want to try to do it? <laughs> yeah, me and opening decks with the baby fingers and the no nails. It's just I not stayed happening. up late did my nails last night. For this weekend, Charity about to go. Yes. This weekend, we're going away. We're taking a nice <laughs> vacay. <laughs> See, that's a struggle for this you too. This one was a little, a little they, difficult. They wrapped it in the Supreme Saran Wrap. They were not wrap. playing. The Saran Wrap that you could, okay, Ugh. quality. My goodness, <laughs> the freshest food. Your food will never go out of style or freshness. <laughs> All right, Mystical Wisdom card deck. Oh, oh, this, this is an interesting nice book. book, yeah. yeah. Show you guys the book. It's all feminine and whatnot. Like it. Oh, oh they, no, they didn't. <laughs> so I'm all for decks that are properly packaged, but when you have so much plastic, bruh. It's like, let's cut down the plastic, guys. Let's save the planet. Just a little bit. All right, so these, even though I'm not honestly a huge like angels and archangel fairies kind of gal when I when it comes to my collection this one still um drew me in mm. because of the words and the art like that the art is just good. again like I like decks that make me feel certain things so like I'm dreaming um that I'm in nature or really relatable images so this mm. one hit the dream category for me because mm. I like I don't even know how to I'm still learning how to like do this thing like the makeup people do with my hands <laughs> And you can see it's so pretty. And to give you an idea of the words, they have like Battle of the Blues, Celebration, Cheer mm. Up, Children, Choices, Confrontation, Creative Wonderment. Uh, and then they have different animals in here, which I, if you like animal signs and animal mm -hmm. totems, this one would be a good deck for you. So I really like Face Your Fears. Wow. But they have intricate drawings. Like yes, they're really, seriously. really intense. So I just thought it was so beautiful and otherworldly. So that was mystical wisdom. Mm -hmm. All right, don't know what number I'm on, <laughs> but we're gonna move through faster because we'll be here all day. So I got Moonology. A lot of you guys have Moonology in your collection. Yeah. I'm late to the uh, yeah to the party. I should have been here a long time ago because <laughs> I would always have it in my hand and then like see another one and be like. Moonology's always there. I'll come back for it. <laughs> but finally, I have it in all the moon images. I just think, like, wow, she did oh, that. Wow. And for a cancer, mm hmm, we mm -hmm. love that. Then we have the starter tarot deck. And this one I just thought was interesting. Oh my God. It was super interesting because this just shows that anybody can make a tarot deck. Like, I've seen some tarot decks where the images are just very, like, I can't draw, but I'm gonna try my best and I'm gonna put it out there to the world. And mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. Like, you don't have to be a supreme artist to make it all happen. Let me find one of the images that. This looks like somebody it's colored it in class. <laughs> and that makes me very happy. Exactly. Like, here's the page of swords. Oh my God. And it just looks like something that you would find on a fridge <laughs> at someone's home. Like, yes. And look, at they're just falling on the ground as we speak. <laughs> So oh, yes, okay. I really, really love those. And I like how they have the upright and the reverse meanings oh, yeah. on each of the cards. I think they did a great job oh, with yeah, that. Oh yeah, these look like crayon. Yeah, That's they so did a cool. beautiful creative expression yeah, of so the Rider Waite. So I'll pick these then. I'm gonna color. Exactly, and the back looks bomb. I'm into these orange backs, you guys. Yeah, I'm really that into it. Theme right now. Yeah. This tower is like, I don't know, I love it. It's like celebratory almost. I love it too. I don't know if you can see like the little, oh, there we go. Which it really is. It's like, even though it's, it's like upheaval in the moment, like afterwards. Yeah. Here's a shamanic healing. So we're on to the next one that I'm mm. busting open right now. And this one, I really like the words. And I like that it was so like at night, this nighttime feel. So the Scorpio rising in me was like here for it. <laughs> and the artist, I just like your vibe, like your energy. All I'm for excited it. to see this one. I've seen a lot of shamanic decks that just go over oh, my head. Oh, I didn't even realize that the sides. You yeah, know what? Because like their one. demo in the store took all the gold off. Oh. <laughs> so it's nice to see. Because you know, these sides don't pretty. stay this way. But it's so pretty when you first get it. God mm. dang. So beautiful. 
All right, so this is a very like nighttimey, but the words are so good. Ooh, they're so fresh. Um, movement into balance, mm. new beginnings, slow but steady, discernment. I keep opening this book to feminine energy. There we go. Reunion of souls, burden, mm. truth, new day, masculine energy, honoring your energy. And then to see some of the images. I love how dark they are. They look so good. So again, so different. Yeah, those are dope. So different. I don't have anything in my collection like it. They did a great job. I'm into it. Yeah. Woo, I'm ready for this deck. Yeah. This deck just, she was in good energy when she released it to the mm -hmm. world. Cause you can feel the power from the deck and I love that. All right, making sure that we're still getting the good light cause it's getting close to the evening. All right, so we're moving, we're shaking, we're moving, we're vibing. All right, on to this new writer. It's called Aba Blah. Albano Waits Hero. Hmm. And I just needed another, a few other Rider Waits Heroes. <laughs> right. I like the back. The back is just very, simple and then the images are just you know right away tarot but the colors are like different they highlight different colors and even the pentacles are different mm. so that's what i liked about this deck because i use tarot every day because my client base so they'll get really dirty <laughs> really <laughs> messy and i shuffle hard so it's Something I have to replace, it's just what it is. And then we have spell casting. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Open her up. I like the back, the nature thing going on. You wanna show these yeah. guys after you look through, cause Lauren hasn't seen these either. Uh, yeah. <laughs> cause we've been working so hard. I put my toys to the side Ooh. for when we were in a slower beautiful, part Beautiful, cohesive art. Mm -hmm. We don't get that together, y'all. Right. We don't get it together. Because there will be more dead calls. <laughs> yeah, I love that. And then these two. These two babies surround it Ooh. out, I believe. And one is called the before tarot. I really want the <laughs> after tarot to the series. Oh, you told me about this one. Mm -hmm. And then this one is called the classic tarot. So I love, oh my God. The classic tarot reminds me of something I would want to pass down to my kids. Ooh. It's so storybook. Like, look at the heftiness of this book. The book is super thick. It's, it's so good though. The way they like, oh my God, it's so good. The backs of these cards, you can see. Oh, wow. And then the images are so vibrant. Like a storybook. This is like, this, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see why you said that. <laughs> Love it. And now the final one. Last but not least. This is the before. Uh, yeah. Foresight is what it's called. Before tarot. All right, so I love the backs of these. I'm gonna take half of them and look yeah. through. Magnetic boxes, both of them. You can see the back. And I love the images. And I like the paper stock on I both was of these. Just thinking that. Mm-hmm. They did a great job. Oh, wow, that's a different type of cups. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. That's my deck. <laughs> now I'll go through some what of the other items that I got. <laughs> in Sedona during this haul. So I wanted for a while one of these water bottles. I've already used this, so I'm just putting this forward as like a disclaimer. That's why it looks yes. foggy in here. Yeah, it so it has rose quartz at the bottom in there, and you can actually change out the stones that you're oh. using by unscrewing the bottom, but it has like little pieces of rose quartz. So when you're doing intention work, because we love putting intention mm -hmm. into water, 
your body is made up over like 70% of it is water. So you want to make sure yeah. that the words you put towards it and yourself are high vibe. Dr. Emoto did a study on this. We've talked about this before in old videos. Um, you can check out Dr. Emoto, like Google it if you aren't familiar, mm -hmm. but the water test is real. Also, I wanted to replace some of my old stones because just like Lauren Ooh. with the rose quartz that she wants to release, mm -hmm. it's very nice to just replenish your collection from time to time if you feel you've had it for years. Yeah. So check out the selenite oh heart that I got, Lauren. And you can show those guys. Selenite is so potent. I always feel this one like splitting my third eye. Yeah. This is a nice piece. Mm-hmm. It's so smooth. Ooh. Then I got some lapis, mm. lapis lazuli. Another third eye stone. Mm -hmm. And throat chakra. And throat chakra. Yeah. That's why I like that. It's a twofer. <laughs> 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 I got some These labradorite. So nice. This labradorite, I really like the weight. Oh I got gosh. a nice amount of heart heart stones because in meditation that weight feels good to me mm -hmm. to just hold in my hand and to call in the energy. So labradorite is Ooh. really good for psychic protection and just Ooh. making sure exactly that you're stepping into your spiritual and psychic strength but not letting other people's negative energy come on that journey with you. This feels so nice. It feels so good. I have some in the shower now so I wanted to get oh a different piece. Gosh. I got some blue calcite, which is super soothing. And of course, it's good to have the blues. <laughs> the blues for um, throat chakra work, but also just aura work. This calcite is a real peaceful stone. So if you find yourself having anxiety, it's good to have this. It's like an angelic feeling. You just... Mm. Feel soothed, feel safe, and I like that about blue calcite. And then, yeah, it's so calming. So it's kind of similar to rose quartz in that way, how calming it is, but it's it's even gentler, I feel, of all this the stones one, yeah. I have. But I have a rose quartz one, so you guys can see. These are all like the heart shape. And then, of course, when I saw a pyrite heart, hey. I was like, yeah, because when we're talking about abundance mm -hmm. and prosperity manifestation, pyrite is a really great stone for that. Can't go wrong, can't Ooh. go wrong. Ooh, we gotta go back. Oh my God. I know. And this was just <laughs> oh like gosh. the best experience breathing through these amazing stores. I replaced my pendulum because it had been a while since I had a new one and I received uh, guidance to grab a fluorite one this time. Mm. Stone of concentration. Mm -hmm. Enhances learning, memory, and mental clarity, decision making, purifies the body and soul, draws off negativity and stress, helps headache and migraines. Ooh. Yep. Excellent pain reliever. Mm-hmm. Yes. I got a pretty amethyst because look at this. Like it's not your typical Ooh. look of amethyst and that's why I loved it. So she had to come with she me because she's gonna be on my desk mm -hmm. at work. That's so pretty. Then I had to get another organite because mm -hmm. I love these. <laughs> we have a big one in the office that looks oh, yeah. kind of like this. So I thought getting like a little baby one, this is my smallest one, I just love it. I have two others at home, now this is my third. And it's good to get the, like the EMF, they call it the EMF frequency, is that what it's called? Is that what it's called? Who's that on there? Yep, EMF waves, there Boom, we go. Boom, there we go. Harmful effects of EMF waves, it mitigates, it purifies the atmosphere, purifies mm. water, charges it, strengthens nature's own ability to prosper. It just feels good in the home I, I really like it and then i got another rose quartz star to have as a calming star in my mm. pocket because sometimes when stress is high and you're like out and about it's yeah. good to have something that you touch yeah and it reminds you it's okay <laughs> you're not gonna die today <laughs> hopefully 
You know, you just need that sometimes. <laughs> So that's is that the Ross Price voice? That's yeah, that's the Ross Price voice. That's not my voice, girl. I don't feel like that. But you know it is. And then I got my carnelian. Hey. So I have a smaller piece, but I finally got a bigger piece. And it's like an egg yeah. shape. That's cool. I don't think I've seen that before. Yeah, I really like it. Like, look how vibrant it is, y'all. The carnelian is good for vitality, courage, confidence, motivation. So when Lauren was saying, when we have a lot going on in the office, it's an mm -hmm. excellent stone for her to grab. It makes so much sense. Yeah. It helps you trust yourself in all of it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are these stones that I got. I think that's all, I think, as I go through and check. Mm -hmm. And then I got like some candles. Oh, I got some quartz. This, this one's my husband, so. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you would have to explain that. <laughs> but got some, we got some clear cores, me and my husband, Ooh. to replace the cores that we've been using mm -hmm. as amplifiers. And then I got some soul mist because who doesn't love lavender and eucalyptus? Mm. So this was from a shop. Do, 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 do. Sounds like a phenomenal <laughs> In um, Sedona. And it just has a nice amount there. And it's called soul mist, lavender, and eucalyptus. Mm by Sedona Soapbox. You want some? Mm-hmm. Get into it. Oh my God. I know. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. Cause when me and Lauren are working at the computer quite a bit, it's nice to have yeah. this to calm it all down. Mm -hmm. So those are our main ones. And then I got Lauren, which she requested, <laughs> which was her piece oh. of rose quartz to replace her current rose quartz. Welcome home, baby. Welcome home. <laughs> Christine cleansed her. Yeah. Bathed with her. Yeah. Not in a creepy way. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I know. Give me the frame. Oh my <laughs> gosh. It's so nice. It like fits my fingers perfectly. There you go. It was made for That's you. That's interesting. Ooh. I know. It's Watch out now. I know. It's so beautiful because she has Reiki it. appointments. So yes. this loving energy, we give to yes. our clients. I actively use Reiki, I mean use crystals mm -hmm. in my Reiki sessions, even the distance ones, because it helps me connect better with people's energy. So this is going to be amazing mm -hmm. for heart work. Sometimes I find myself doing like spiritual heart surgery on people, just pulling, yeah. pulling the gunk out, pulling the gunk out. <laughs> so this will be great. She's done it to me. I love yes. it. Yes. <laughs> here for it. I testify. I'm here for it. So that's everything from my Ooh. Sedona haul. I know it was a lot, but it was my honeymoon and that's where <laughs> I was at in my journey. I was in a loving, let's reheal, let's make sure we step into marriage, mm -hmm. high vibe mm -hmm. kind of right. frequency. Um, it was so beautiful there. We did healing ceremonies. We just took adventures. We went to the vortexes. Mm -hmm. If you're not familiar, look up the vortexes of Sedona and plan a trip there because it's so rejuvenating, mm -hmm. especially if you're in the city like I am. We're in downtown LA. LA. Yeah. You're, you know, working with people as healers. It's nice to have a place that you can just reboot. Okay. Yeah. Also, in other Pretty Spirits news, we just released a new deck Ooh. today, and it is called the Dark Edition. Dark Edition. The Dark Edition Oracle, and it's all about helping you uncover your subconscious blockages, your shadow work that needs to be faced head on. So if you're looking to do that type of introspective, honest healing, check yeah. out prettyspirits.com because we have there the tarot deck, um, our other oracle decks, and now this new baby, mm -hmm. and there's more to come. Yes. So just stick with us on this journey. All right, guys, until next time. <laughs>